All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shen, day 1205 at the park. Um, so the portion control thing was going pretty good. So today, like, you know, I was teaching. And then so I had a break, so I ate one. And then after the meeting at one, I ate another one. And uh, probably when I get back home, I'll eat another one. So I am fascinated by the thing where I can't believe it's just like this little can like this that I should have been eating. And, you know, there's chicken, there's cabbage, there's beans, there's celery. There's a lot of stuff with there. Onions, tomatoes. And it's all this little can of stuff. So, uh, I mean, it's great and all. And I had my first problem with opening it. Because, you know, when you put the soup in it and you put the can on and then you wash it off. But some of it stays in the top. Like the, 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 what's it called? The thread of the, the can. So it was like hard to get off. I'm like, oh. So, I don't know. But, you know, drank water and it felt really good. But what didn't feel good was yesterday. So, it turns out that coconut water, okay? So this, this mellow mellow stuff, it's coconut water and milk like mixed and then for some reason it's like this like foam and jelly stuff and you eat it and it tastes really good it's a really good dessert now i didn't know why i went to the restroom three times yesterday i'm like oh my gosh i know tmi i get it right but i don't <laughs> this doesn't happen and then so i'm like gosh you know it's not the vegetable stuff i mean yeah maybe it could be like blunts or something but like three so I thought about it, and then so, technically that coconut thing, it's a double serving, okay? Because there's a half size that's a single serving. Okay, get it, right? And then I just, I was just curious. I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's this coconut stuff. And then so I read, you know, I was looking on the internet. Turns out coconut water makes you go to the bathroom. It relaxes your digestive muscle, muscles, so then everything just flows through you. I go, oh, okay. So I'm not eating that during the daytime anymore, right? But it made sense though. I mean, I'm thinking like, huh, okay, a lot of people, I know Harold loves coconut water. A lot of people have been drinking coconut water. But some people believe in the stuff. And some people, it's just a myth. Because it's like, oh, it's good because you have a lot of uh, magnesium in it. Helps you sleep and has uh, vitamin C in it. And then, I don't know. I just eat the stuff. So, oh, but, but some people say it's all just myth. You know, it's like, oh, it's like the research. You know, so everybody says one way or the other. But I go on what my experience was. So am I gonna go and try to eat two of these things one day and then go for another colonoscopy? No, I'm not stupid. Plus, I don't feel like eating two of those things. I don't even feel like eating the whole thing at one time. You know, so today I had like two spoonfuls and I left. I'm like, okay, that should be good enough. Shouldn't do anything crazy on me. But, I don't know. So the good thing about stuff is I'm still on the, I don't feel like eating chocolate or a hamburger. I'm still on that, that I'm still focused on, you know, trying to be healthy, eat some good stuff. And uh, I watched Mortal Kombat last night. Those people are all yoked up. And then, so I'm like, okay, am I gonna look like that? In order to do it, I have to eat like that. I had to exercise like that. So meaning, any of these coconut desserts, that's after workout, right? Eat the carbs and proteins like before, right? So, yeah. It's funny because right now I'm walking by a bunch of little kids and they're just tripping out of my mask, I think. Either that or who's that fat dude walking around with this camera. <laughs> You know, today, I think I'm gonna eat chili. I think I'm gonna make it, because A, I feel like cooking, 
and B, uh, well, I just feel like cooking. I, I'm on the thing where I'm going to need new vitamins soon. So I think I feel pretty good just because of that, right? I feel good that, uh, you know, I have energy. I'm glad I don't have any type of cold and all that kind of stuff. Uh, my muscles feel pretty good, right? I need to get more pump. And, um, yeah, so hopefully, I think, I think within a month, with this whole new eating pattern and stuff, something significant should happen. So I'm, I'm going to give it that long. And then, well, I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. But, uh, yeah. So I guess today would be more variety. But then, you know, I guess maybe the whole thing is figuring out what makes the digestive system, you know, go into hyperdrive. So I found out the celery does it and coconut. So maybe I should invent some type of celery coconut dessert. Coconut cover with celery. Okay, then maybe that's not the best thing. But oh, I put beans in the in that uh, minestrone soup thing, the black beans. Uh, that was a difference maker. I think that totally was. So now what I'm doing is I need to be able to ration out, ration it, ration on how much I cook for everything. So it turns out half of a cabbage, two tomatoes, half an onion, half of a, well, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? One chicken breast. It adds up to six individual servings. So basically when I buy the thing, it'll be good for four days, four days meals, right? So I need 12 of those cans for every batch I make. And also 12 of those cans, I think the price, I got to do the price analysis of this because, you know, the onions are about like, what, $1.25 each, tomatoes are about, I don't know, $3. The head of cabbage is four dollars I don't know the celery about two dollars can of beans chicken breast and that's that's 12 meals so basically I'll be making my own little meal preps and uh, well let's see how it goes all right there you go day 1205 in the books so I'm learning about fiber the hard way. I try like, you know, that Metamucil and all that kind of stuff before. But this one I'm trying to do it like all natural. Well, I don't know if really coconut water is. So, well, I guess maybe that and, uh, you know, the celery, the beans, you know, natural fiber stuff. Next thing I'll be eating kale and stuff. But I don't know, kale's horrible but it's supposed to be pretty good. It's like a good toothbrush in there. So, you know, the benefits of coconut water, I don't know, I still have a lot left over because Harold loves that stuff. So during the summer, I mean, when the pandemic started, <laughs> um, yeah, he'd come over, help me with my computer stuff or whatever around the house. And then uh, I had a big box of coconut water from uh, Costco. I hope it's still good. I have no idea. It's just in the cupboard because I guess you don't refrigerate it. Whatever the case, it doesn't really matter. I'm not drinking it. But who knows? I mean, I, I, I have that apple cider vinegar still. But that, I think apple cider vinegar, I don't know if you guys remember that story when I was getting it. I think that's like four years old in my cupboard. So I don't know if it gets old. But I'm not going to eat that either. But I heard it's supposed to be good for you. But like I said, some people think, say things work. Some people say it don't. But it's all up to you trying it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to try out the whole uh, the effects of coconut water.
and uh, we'll see. So anyways, Big Daddy Shin, day 1205. If I get excised 1205 days in a row, you get excised 1205 days in a row. So if I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. Messing with coconut water.